sometimes patients with vestibular disorders have problem with what we call convergence eye movement. And that is to bring the eyes close together when looking as if like, you know, looking at something very close to the eyes. So in order to assess this, we have the patient extend their arm at arm's length and look at the thumb. And uh, we are looking at their eyes here to see the congregate eye movement. And I want you to bring the thumb close to your nose and keep looking at it. Tell me if you are able to see it clearly or if you get double vision. So we are looking at the eyes and we can see that the eyes really cross. For example, a patient might tell me up here that um, they are having difficulty seeing if they bring the thumb closer and that um, uh, they might be experiencing double vision. In that case, we will measure this distance, okay? And to provide uh, the patient with exercises for uh, this condition, we will uh, use a very simple piece of equipment, an invention actually, which is a thread with three small purples on it. So I will move the purples so that they are far away and the uh, closest one here to the patient will be further, a little bit further from the distance we just measured. Okay, so I want you to hold the line close to your nose, close to your nose, okay? And now, okay, uh, so it's like this now the arrangement, and I want you to look at the, uh, the first purple. Now jump to the second one, and then go to the third. At all times, when you focus on one purple, you should be able to see it clearly with no double vision, okay? And now move back to the second, then to the first, okay? And we keep repeating this exercise. Once the patient improves, we could move the purples a little bit closer to the patient's nose, okay? And repeat the exercise. So look at the first purple, now the second, now the third, okay? And then back to second, back to first, second, third, okay? And we keep repeating it until we reach a close distance to the patient's nose. Okay. So first, second, third, second, third. Okay. And this can exercise can be done by the patient at their home.